Well guys, it's been fun. Our untainted with microtransactions game, Star Wars Battlefront 2, is soon to come to an end. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but basically, we're going to be talking about EA wanting to bring back the microtransaction DLC system within the next few months. Of course, I'm being a little overdramatic, but real talk, like, they are wanting to bring back microtransactions into this game as it was originally placed first, but then they cut it out due to the backlash that everybody in the community gave. The internet was able to speak loud enough to make a difference in this game, even getting some government officials involved and, uh, and sort of, like, online gambling scams and whatnot. And of course, I do personally think that this represents a huge problem for Star Wars, but I don't think it's like the end-all be-all of this game, and it's not the worst thing in the entire world. It's not like getting AIDS or something, you know what I'm saying? But like... I just want to let you guys know what's up and why EA is deciding to do this right now, as some people did fear that it would come back in the game at some point, and we have an official word regarding that. So basically, I'm throwing this picture up on screen. Go ahead and feel free to read this. This is their official review, and uh, if you want a link to the full article, it will be down in the description if you want to read whole, the whole thing. It's like a page or two long. It's not that bad, but essentially, what this is all condensed down to and broken down saying is that Star Wars Battlefront 2 sales numbers didn't quite meet their mark. They expected to sell 10 million copies. They wanted to to ship that but they shipped 9 million which really isn't that bad I guess and yeah, shareholders aren't going to like that because they want to see at least that number reached or maybe even above that. Anything above that mark is going to be good for them. So that's probably not great on their end. But really, 9 million out of 10 isn't that bad when you think about it. It's not like they lost a huge amount of money on this game. It didn't flop, only shipping like maybe 3 to 5 million. They did pretty well for this game, I would say. And it did most definitely perform way under the original EA Star Wars Battlefront that sold 13 million copies. And I don't expect this one to reach from uh, what they've said. They think that uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 will eventually reach maybe 12 million copies. Not quite hitting Battlefront 1's numbers, but, you know, getting pretty close. So what I assume is going on here is that they want to supplement those losses that they didn't meet with their mark, you know, being 10 million. And they only got 9. They want to resupplement that with micro DLC. Now, whether I agree with that is a completely different topic, but... That's what is going on in their minds right now. Now, personally, I don't think it's necessary for them to bring back the micro DLC and just in terms of game balance and the way it needs to be played because right now, you guys know that there are crystals. That's a currency in Star Wars Battlefront 2. And this is kind of like, you can do challenges to acquire like little amounts of it, but this is pretty much the skeleton and the remains of what was going to be this big whole microtransaction deal going on to where you could buy crystals and buy other loot crates and things like that. And that has since been tweaked, obviously. So you can still earn crystals, but it's very, very rare. You can maybe get like one to two drops if you're lucky. But uh, those were, what you could originally purchase and if they bring that back then that will obviously be the the spark that sort of lets you buy all that stuff again they didn't exactly specify when they're going to reinstate this into the game. We don't have any, um, you know, actual indicators of a date, but I would expect it to be probably within the releases. We know when they have new updates or new seasons of DLC content coming out, they're probably going to slip that in along with some actual, you know, content for the game in a rather big package with uh, other stuff that we can actually play with. And then they'll add that in at the exact same time. That'd be my guess. I'm not really sure. Now, as far as my opinions goes on this, I also want uh, you guys to let me know in the comment section what your opinions are we'll get a little discussion going but as far as what i think about this i think microtransactions are not good and i think star wars battlefront 2 has probably one of the most devious setups that they have in any sort of triple a title like this but i also think that if like people you know more more grown up or more mature people who can spend their money responsibly i don't think there's anything wrong with dropping maybe a few dollars on this game if you really enjoy it and you still play it obviously this is a lot targeted towards children because it's really easy for them to get into and just you know start dropping a lot of bands on that they probably shouldn't and that's my biggest problem. The DLC setup is meant to target a younger audience to get them to spend money. And, you know, people who are a little bit more wiser with it are able to do it accordingly, like myself. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with spending a few dollars on a game that you literally enjoy and will play all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you're dropping money on a game that, number one, you probably won't play that much, and also just large amounts of money that you don't need to spend, I think that is... Uh, but that's a whole different discussion for another time. I can make a 30-minute video giving my opinions on this stuff, but uh, I'm going to save it for right there. And as far as game balance goes with the microtransactions, if you guys aren't really aware of Star Wars Battlefront 2, or maybe you don't have it, you haven't picked it up yet, and you were worried about this kind of thing, I would say personally that I don't think that the micro DLC makes that much of a difference gameplay-wise. Like, yeah, somebody could just roll up, drop, you know, a couple thousand dollars on this game, and have fully upgraded heroes, fully upgraded uh, all classes, and, you know, all level 4 cards, but is that really going to make them a good player? I don't think so. 
the way I see it is that these cards make good players even better, and it makes really bad players slightly okay. Like, you still can't shoot. No level 4 card is going to save you or help you on this game. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think it's that big of a deal. The differences are negligible, but that's just me. That's another topic as well. But anyways, guys, that's going to be the video. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are brand to this channel as well for more updates. I'd appreciate that a lot. And other than that, I'll see you guys on the next video or the next live stream. Peace out.